And somebody else may want to use this, so, so whoever may want to use this later. There's a way across if you didn't bring anything with you. <laughs> trail then hang uh hang left come down to 1a and then just work the way back to the parking lot i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous but i'm excited too the reason why i was so serious about trying to hike this trail and blood mountain was was because two years ago when i attempted this i got really bad cramps on the way back down and a three hour hike turned into eight hours so basically this is kind of like my redemption or my revenge to get back up on the mountain. Okay, so first mistake, should have brought the trekking poles, but we didn't. But my little brother is attempting to find just like a little route and whatever that we can take. I don't think it's that bad really. It just kind of looks bad, but it's not that bad. What's that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Here, hold on to this. Alright. So so far I'm feeling pretty decent. I'm in no rush. I'm definitely not in a rush. I'm just Taking my time, being sweet about it. My brother, on the other hand, of course, a whole lot thinner and in much better shape than me. So he's ahead, not not by a whole lot, about 50 yards or so. So what do you think, Hector? Hold on. What? Much tougher than. Yeah. It's a whole lot tougher than you thought. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be fine we just got to take it easy and not try to rush things because if you know like if you try to run up this mountain maybe there's people out there that can do it we can't do it so we're not going to pretend like we can so it'll be nice and easy stop relax eat a little bit and climb yeah i, I thought it was too but now it's birds so we have finally made it to the intersection what is the bryson reed trail yeah the bryson reed's trail and the and the freeman trail two years ago i almost didn't make it to the bathroom but i had to go at this very moment so i actually used the restroom way down there but not deep enough into the woods apparently because there was a group of people that that were walking my, my way and the gentleman that i was with was kind enough to distract them while I did my business so <laughs> yeah that's an embarrassing little story but hey man when you gotta go you gotta go Where is it? yeah so this map is actually going to be just like the other one so right now we are blood mountain right here we've already traveled here then we are going to hang a right which is going to be this trail over there so we're gonna hang it right here um it looks like it's going to rain so now we are going to kick into our rain gear and we have like five minutes Pro less we got less we gotta go just got done hitting the one the one mile mark 
not too long ago and I feel decent I know that I'm definitely climbing Blood Mountain so it's uh this mountain is holding up its name so we had a slight confusion earlier because um the trail that we're following appears to be going down we thought that we were supposed to be going back up but after taking a look at maps and also the map that I have with me the trail um, after about a mile and a half probably I'd say it, um, about a mile and a half it actually begins to work its way down and then it works itself back up so we're going to trust the maps and follow them since we haven't seen a white marking anymore okay so you guys can't see it but there's a there's what appears to be like a trail when you see this is the main trail and there's one that breaks off here one that breaks off up here but there are some white some white markings here that are faded but they are still here here's one and here's another one so we're going to continue to go that way we're beginning to climb up to a bald section i'm going to say a bald section because it's like wide open view and you can see the mountains today is not going to be that day however because um we are surrounded by fog that we're also um getting a lot closer to the shelter that sits up at the very top yeah this is the overlook there's my little brother the cramping on my right leg has started i've already stretched a little bit so we'll see how this goes yeah but it's looking kind of iffy so i think it would be smart to come back down the same way that we came because it's a, it's it, it's a much shorter hike but i'll determine that once i rest up at the shelter half an hour to one hour so wow yeah on a very clear day you can see all the mountains everything but today is not one of those days so we have just arrived the building that sits up at the very top of the trail it's been a minute since i've been up here is it closed is it open yeah, yeah that's it Yeah, we don't have much of a view because all this fog, but ah, we're here, right? That's all that matters. Yeah. actually a really good view up here if of course but <clears throat> there's a lot of fog up here of course <sighs> What I'm trying to do now is stretch a little bit because the last time that I came up here cramps actually began about less than tenth of a mile. So this time I've chosen to try to play it safe, nice and easy, take it slow and stretch.
So there is in fact a bathroom at the very top of Blood Mountain, which is good. The last time that I was here, none of this was on it. So no privacy. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna get to it, you know? There's nothing that we can do. Please do not put the trash in the toilet. What? Where do you put it then? It's really not that bad. I mean, it smells, obviously, but look at where you're at, you know? There is no toilet paper up here, so always bring your own. Always bring your own. Now this is just me, but I like to hike in style, so I've got the phone connected to this little speaker. That's some uh, Lindsey Sterling, so great hiking music, I guess. This is it. This is how it ends. I'm going to slip, fall, and die. Anything that is basically moss, stay away from it. Especially right now since I don't have any trekking poles. So, take it easy. Thinking back about how it was two years ago when I was trying to climb down here. With those cramped up legs, man. I have no idea how I made it, man. Will... That's the only thing that comes to mind is just willpower, which is true because I wanted to get off of that mountain, off of this mountain at any cost. I had to get off, man. My legs were just bad. But I feel great. Like, I feel like my legs right now, they're like wanting to, to cramp up, but I've already stretched. So my legs feel great. Um, I think everything that I ate this morning, uh, which was a banana milkshake with like four bananas in it, the Gatorade, the water, the breakfast, all of that is now beginning to, to kick in and have my back per se. I don't know how to explain it, but when I first began to hike a couple of months ago, I could feel that, um, that the body part that was lacking was my heart and and my lungs they were they were just moving slow well not moving slow but they would um they would actually wear out quicker and they would tire before my legs would now it's a complete opposite now my legs are beginning to wear out quicker than the heart or the lungs now now the legs just have to get physically stronger i'm not too concerned about it It'll get there. And right now, as I was saying before, like it feels like the inside of my legs, which is the, the part of my body that is lacking now, feels like it wants to to um, to cramp up. But uh, about five, ten minutes ago, it's almost as if that feeling has gone away. So I don't know if, if my muscles are just, I don't know, growing to the next level. I don't know how to explain it. Point is that my legs are beginning to feel so much, so much better and so much stronger too. I feel good. I think that if I'm able to keep, to keep this up, it shouldn't be too much longer before I take on Mount Mitchell. We have just made it to the Freeman Trail. Which is good because uh, I thought that we were getting lost there for a moment but after reviewing the the map yeah we have to hang a left here and this and this trail should uh jump right through the Appalachian Trail again but this one however the same trail is going to run us right back to the to the parking lot so I thought that that uh so I thought that this was pretty cool but we're just 
walking, right? We're just uh, attempting to get back to the parking lot and along the trail. There, uh, there's this big puddle. And look at that. That's actually the little spring. Right, Hector? That's a spring, dude. Man, you, man, you gotta love GoPros, man. You can stuff that thing up under the water, everything. Yeah, but that's um, that's pretty cool, man. The spring, just like you know, like out of nowhere. Boom. Water being born from the mountain. We have just made it to the intersection of... I'll tell you here in a minute. But... Legs still kind of iffy, kind of shaky. But it did not take me no four to five hours to come back down the mountain. So, that's a plus and I not once stopped because of cramps. Permanently, I guess. That would be the words that I'm looking for. So this is the intersection of what? Freeman Trail. And Bryson Reese Trail. We have made it back to that intersection. This is where we were at earlier today, a couple of hours ago. Up there, that'll take you up, up to Blood Mountain. Come back over and you're going to swing around and come out ultimately right here, but... So I'm not sure if I actually filmed this on the way up. I probably didn't. But these are the, what do they call them? The switchbacks. These, these are the switchbacks. As you can tell, my brother turned to the left and he's going towards the left, obviously. But he's going to come up against another turn and then just work his way down. But this is it. I mean, we're, after we get done with the switchbacks here, that's it. It's just a, the, the trail is going to run right into the parking lot and uh that's it i'll be completely done with this hike and blood mountain will now be in my pocket so it's safe to say now that blood mountain is done it is completely done so now from here it's training for mount mitchell and hopefully if everything works out well and if my workout routines keep up health and everything i'm going to begin to head out west where the big boys are that's uh west of the west united states so the rockies were similar <laughs> 